and welcome to today's video. So today I am going to be doing a get ready with me. I know you guys love those. And today's video is also sponsored by Wella Shockwave Watch, which I'm so excited for. I'm actually going to the movie premiere and that is what I'm getting ready for right now. Well, I'm already ready. Just filming my intro now. So as you can see, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my hair, the products I use, my makeup, my clothes, everything. I am so excited for you guys to see this video and I just want to say thank you so much to Wella Shockwaves for sponsoring this video because I was so excited. So I'm going to be using their Wella Shockwaves Volume Mousse and the Wella Shockwaves Volume Hairspray to create my hair like this and I'm really excited to show you guys my finished look, makeup, hair, outfit and yeah I'll see you guys in the video. Hey guys, so to start out me getting ready I am hopping in the shower and washing my hair. I just use any shampoo and conditioner and just wash any grease or product out. And then I go in and exfoliate and shave my legs. This is a must have before any get ready that I do. I always do it. And then as soon as I was out the shower, I hopped into my room and went in with my Wella Shockwaves and the Baywatch Collaboration Volume Mousse. I love it because not only does it like protect your hair against heat, so when I'm curling it or blow drying it, it's protected. It also adds loads of volume and it just adds curls and texture and stuff. I absolutely love it. It is so good. I've been using this for years now and I just don't have enough to say about it. It's amazing. I like to let my hair dry naturally for as long as I can so while I'm letting my hair dry a little bit I went in and applied some fake tan. I always do this before an event and then I just wash it off before I step out the door. Literally like seconds before I step out I can jump in the shower and wash it off. Hi guys, so now let's move on to the makeup. I'm going with a little bit more of a glamorous look than I usually do, obviously, because I'm going to move from here. Um, so first thing I'm doing is moisturising my face because I don't want any dry patches anywhere. I know a lot of you guys are going to be wondering, am I wearing eyelash extensions or eyelashes or anything like that? I am. I do my own eyelash extensions, so yeah. Just on my fake tan, so don't be alarmed if my face is a complete different colour to my neck. My foundation will fix that, I just don't like putting fake tan on my face. So, yeah. And now I'm going to go in with an under eye cream, because I just feel like I need that extra little oomph. And this is like a brightening one, it's got yellow tones in it, so I pop that where I would put highlighter, um, like concealer highlight. So, underneath my eyes, forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and on my cupid's bow, and then just rub that all in. So I'm just going to let that cool, and then I'm going to go in with my primer. Priming my face is an absolute must for me. There is never a time that I don't do it. It doesn't look right either, I don't think. Um, when I don't use primer, my makeup just doesn't settle into my skin as well as it would when I do wear it. So. This is definitely part of my daily routine no matter what. So the next step for me is concealer. I have recently been eating vegan, so my skin has cleared up massively, but I do suffer from quite a lot of scarring, which is really unfortunate. And I used a new product yesterday that gave me this huge breakout. I'm not sure if it was the product or if it's a bite. I just don't know what would have bit me. So yeah, but it's really painful. Definitely want to cover that up. So now I'm going in with a foundation. This is my absolutely holy grail product and I always just pop a little bit on the back of my hand and then use a sponge to apply it to my face. It is really lightweight, is really full coverage. It's just an incredible foundation. If you're looking for something that really does the job and does the job well, um, this is the one for you. If you hate foundations that end up looking cake at the end of the day or wear off throughout the day, this is definitely one that you should check out. And then I go all out with like highlight and um, eyeshadow and stuff like that. I like quite natural brows as well. Um, I never do anything dramatic on my eyebrows. I just stick with the natural shape and just darken them up a little bit because as you can see they are very light. So now I'm just using my concealer. Like I said, all of the products will be linked in the description. All the products I'm using today and have any questions then just let me know in the comments this is a lighter shade than 
my foundation so it really does highlight and kind of add more of a 3d effect to your face because when you put foundation on it can make you look very so i've just set all of that um highlight with a yellow powder and that's me want to contour so i'm like really really excited to go to the screening of this it's in cinemas i believe on may 29th i'm pretty sure and I get to go to an early screening of it because I'm working with them on this video and it's just so exciting because I have been using their products for years. So, so exciting. If you guys don't know, when I was little I had the curliest hair ever. My hair was so, so curly. I looked like Tracy Beaker. If you're from the UK, you'll get that. Um, if I can find a picture, I'll pop it on the screen, but I don't actually know if I've got any. But I had ringlets, like tiny, tiny curls. And I always used to use mousse in my hair because it just curl it and um, like hold the curl and add to the curl and it just looked incredible. I, my hair, I always used to get compliments on it. My hair isn't really like that anymore. The curls are more loose. But um, my mom would always get compliments like, oh my God, your daughter's hair is so gorgeous, blah, blah, blah. And I told my mom I was working with Shockwaves and Baywatch on this video. And my mum was like, oh my god, that's the product I used to use on your hair when you were like a kid. So happy with like where YouTube's taken me and stuff like that because it's just like, it's so exciting working with brands that you've used for years and you've loved for years. It's just like a dream come true, honestly. What I've done with my face and let's move on to the eyebrows. I think the eyebrows are a great place to start with makeup because you can... Um, you can like frame your face and kind of see where you want to go from there. So I always do that. I've been using this hairspray non-stop. I've never been a hairspray person ever. Like you guys probably know this. I never use products in my hair. And since I've been trying these out, I love them because every other hairspray I've used makes my hair so crunchy. It feels like, I can't even explain. It feels like, you know that feeling when you use hairspray and it's just like stiff? It like always felt like that and this one still feels like hair. So I, I really like that. Now let's move on to eyeshadow. I'm gonna go with a gold look and be boring because it's just safe. So I'm going in with a liquid eyeshadow here be a part of the love club everything will glow for you and now I'm gonna go in with a tiny little brush and just add some dark shades I'm gonna darken this up quite a bit because obviously it is a movie premiere and not just going to the cinema I am so excited like so happy to have the limited edition packaging to go with this video because it just fits perfectly. I think it's in stores for like two months from like May until July, like mid-May till mid-July I think. So then I'm just blending all that out. Also, my eyeshadow look might look slightly odd simply because of how the light's hitting my face. I have a window to my right and I don't have any studio lights to my left because it just wouldn't balance the lighting. And there's the eyes, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, I haven't done dramatic makeup for ages. Now I'm just gonna go in with a tiny bit of mascara. I don't like to put a lot on my lower lash line, if I'm honest. I always like to keep that more clean. I just feel like it suits my eye shape a lot better. And then I'm going in with like this nudie pink shade. This is my everyday color. I feel like it just suits me best. Perfect, I love this look. It looks so good, I'm so happy with it. I'm just gonna clean up around my mouth where I just smudged. And that is the makeup. So let's move on to my hair that is almost dry. It's way more curly than it usually is thanks to the mousse. Got so much texture and more volume in my hair. Love it. Now So 
I've just finished drying my hair and my hair looks so big. Look at this volume, I love it. These Weather Shop Grace products are so good. So now I'm just going to curl it. So I'm gonna start with parting it down the middle like I always do. My crown actually starts, if you can see that there, that's my crown. So it's actually at the middle, which makes it so difficult to part my hair. I've done it wrong. I can never tell where the middle is because of my crown being right at the front of my head. If you don't know what the crown is, it's where your hair starts, basically. So I just finished curling my hair, it looks so big and bouncy, I absolutely love it and I'm going to pop some Weller Shockwaves hairspray in just to make sure it holds. I absolutely love this, I don't even feel uncomfortable putting it on my roots because it doesn't make it greasy, I can just stick down flyaways and it holds my hair perfectly. It doesn't even smell that bad either. I absolutely love how my looks turned out. I'm so happy with it. Remember, go on your great adventure again. that is it for this portion of the video and I hope you enjoyed I hope you like this look and now let's move on to the outfits enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe it would mean the absolute world to me if you have any video requests please leave them below in the comments and if you're interested in any of the products that I just showed in the video the links will be in the description the best place to get the makeup is honestly online and the best place to get the Weller Shockwaves products are in Superdrug they're really affordable and they work wonders so I'll see you guys super soon I love you so much thank you so much for your support and yeah bye guys